Hi, this is Yogesh. Welcome to Sawlight Tutorial. Today, we shall learn one of the most important interview question that is, what is the difference between request dispatcher dot forward method and response dot send redirect method. In the previous session, we have learned about the Java web application which performs the operations like send, direct, send redirection to get interaction between two servlet programs, two different servlet programs which resides in two different web applications of two different servers like Tomcat and WebLogic. After understanding the more detailed information about response.send redirect, now let us see the difference between request dispatcher dot forward method and response dot send redirect. After completion of this explanation, we'll proceed for one more important entry question that is request dispatcher dot forward and request dispatcher dot include. Okay, fine. Now let me proceed for request dispatcher dot forward and request dispatcher dot sorry response dot send redirect. So let me arrange the proper setting. So here is my forward method and here is my res response dot send redirect method. Okay boss, fine. So let's proceed now. Or let us see the difference one by one. Now here. What is the purpose of request dispatcher dot forward method? So request dispatcher dot forward method is given to perform forwarding request mode of solid chaining. Actually forward method and send rewrite method also can be useful for both the methods are useful for to perform solid chaining or you can call solid collaboration. So let me use here, let me type here solid chaining or solid to solid communication solid to solid communication so here it is given to perform request dispatcher dot forward is given to perform forwarding request mode of solid chaining forwarding request mode of solid chaining whereas response dot send redirect whereas response dot send redirect is given to perform given to perform send redirection send redirection mode of solid chaining it the forward method simply forwards the request to the next servlet whereas send redirect this method is responsible to perform redirection mode of solid chaining let us see now second difference about forward and send redirect request dispatcher dot forward source program interacts with the destination program directly source program source solid program source solid program interacts with destination program destination program directly whereas send redirect mode here source program interacts with interacts with destination program destination program by having by having network round trip network round trip last session i explained about how it performs network round trip okay network round trip with a browser window with a browser window okay boss fine 
Now let's see third difference. So the third difference about require dispatcher dot forward and response dot send a redirect. In the case of require dispatcher dot forward, source and destination program will use same request. Source and destination program will use the same request and response object. So request data coming to source program is visible and accessible in destination programs too. So source and destination program, source and destination programs will use will use same request same request and response object same request comma response object so request data coming to request data coming to source program is visible which visible and accessible in destination in destination programs in destination programs so let us see the third difference in the case of send redirection here in the case of send redirection source program and destination program will not use same request and response object so request data coming to source program is not visible and accessible in destination program so source program source program and destination program source program and destination programs will not use same request comma same request and response object same request comma response objects so so request data coming to source program so request data coming to source program is not is not visible and accessible to destination program direct click so here i use a word called direct click okay let's see the fourth difference after understanding three difference so this is the fourth difference in the case of forward if you want to pass additional data from source program to destination program we have to use a request attribute if you want to pass additional data if you want to pass additional data additional data from from source program to destination program we have to use a request attribute to pass additional data from source program to destination program source program to destination program we have to use we have to use request attributes we have to use request attributes but in the case of response dot send redirect if you want to pass additional data if you want to pass additional data from source program to destination program destination program source program to destination program we need to append we need to append query string we need to append query string we need to append query string to the url to the url of response dot 
send redirect response dot send redirect method okay fine boss in the last example we have seen this difference we have seen this difference how to append the query string to the response dot send redirect okay boss now let us see fifth difference in between Require dispatcher dot forward and response dot send redirect. In the case of require dispatcher dot forward, source and destination program can be there in same web application or can be there in two two different web applications of same server of same server. So here source program, source and destination program, program. can be there can be there in same web application can be there in same web application or can be there in two different web application can be there in two different web application so in the case of two different web applications it works in works only in works only with web logic server this example also i shown to you how to work with two different web applications with the source and destination programs as well as two different web applications but whereas in the case of response dot send redirect source and destination program can be there in same web application or can be there in two different web applications of same or different servers so source and destination destination program destination program can be there in same web application can be there in same web application or two different web application web application can be there in a same web application or can be there in a two different web application web applications or different servers this different also we have seen in the last tutorial last session so let us see six difference in the case of six difference destination program destination program must be java web application compatible destination program must be java web application compatible in the case of require dispatcher dot forward so destination program program must be java web application compatible it should be compatible with the java web application now here in the case of response dot send redirect destination program program can be there can be there can be any technology based any technology program including including asp or asp.net or php or solid and etc and etc okay boss let us see now some of the difference between forward and send redirect so in the case of require dispatcher dot forward during this solid chaining url in browser address bar will not be changed 
will not be changed so during this servlet chaining during this servlet chaining chaining url in browser win in url in browser address bars will not be change will not be change so here in the case of send redirect during the solid chaining during the solid chaining url in solid chaining during the solid chaining url in the browser address bar url in the browser address bars address bar will be change will be change because one net one extra network round trip because of one extra network round trip let us see one more extra difference between request dispatcher dot forward and response dot send a redirect so forward method is useful is useful when source and destination programs are local to each others so useful when source and destination program programs are local to each others in the case of it it is useful when source and destination source and destination programs are local as well as as well as remote to each others okay boss so these are the differences between require dispatcher dot forward and response dot send redirect okay so these are the differences what is the difference between require dispatcher dot forward and response dot send redirect method in solid chaining or solid to solid communications in this side forward method and this side send redirect method so these are the eight differences as of now so it is going to perform forwarding request mode send redirections directly in a one extra network round trip so we have learned about differences between request dispatcher dot forward and response dot send redirect okay boss fine now we will learn the difference between what is the difference next important interview question that is what is the difference between request dispatcher dot forward and request dispatcher dot include method request dispatcher dot forward and request dispatcher dot include method